Hey guys, Sascha from Mobile Kings, and guess what? We are on the EVA Air Hello Kitty fly from Hong Kong to Taipei. Actually, I've been always dreaming of uh, doing a first unboxing on a plane, but I've never expected that it's going to be the Hello Kitty plane. So these are Hello Kitty disposable bags. Uh, we have this little Hello Kitty special neck rest, and uh, we have some Hello Kitty uh, Airbus 330 safety instructions, Hello Kitty special offers. Uh, well, there's no Hello Kitty in here, but the Hello Kitty Sky Shop. And uh, last but not least, we're finally coming to the product that we're going to unbox here tonight. And this is going to be uh, the new iPad 4 that we just grabbed uh, in Hong Kong. Um, it just got out yesterday, right on the 2nd of November. So um, let's just dive right into it. And we're also going to compare it a little bit at least with the new iPad mini. Um, this is the 32 gigabyte version. And, uh, yeah. That's where the problem starts. Can't get rid of this. It's always the same. Uh, 32 gigabyte uh, white version comes with one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, that's the Wi-Fi one. Of course, it also supports the amazing Retina display. The display resolution is the same as on the iPad 3, 2048 by 1536. Um, compared to the new iPad, which is obviously now the old iPad, um, this one now comes with the new uh, A6X processor, which is a kind of Cortex A15 class. So uh, let me get this one out. Let's first take a look at the accessories here. So that's your your PSU with the USB out, and over here we have the connector. Of course, that's um, the Hong Kong or UK version. That means we need to get a different converter for it. Let me just get this one back here. What's this? Um, this says made in China, <laughs> but designed in California. Um, some manuals, of course. Here it is, and it just tells you how to switch it on. And last but not least, um, USB to this new, what's it called, lightning connector? Lightning connector. That's, that's the new fancy schmancy lightning connector that Apple is rolling out through all of their products right now, including the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini. So, um, let's just close this box again and um, have a quick look around the device. You know what? The whole thing is right now, I just don't know how thin it is and the weight. I know it's over 600 grams, that's for sure. Here we go. So, as I said, the white version. Um, that's the switcher for the accelerometer. We have volume control here. That's the new small lightning It kind of reminds me a little bit of a micro USB, right? There's nothing on the left side. Uh, we have a jack for your headset and a power button. There's a 5 megapixel camera on the back. And holy shit, what was the megapixel of the, the front-facing camera? I think uh, it was like 1.3? 1 1.3 1 or 2, yeah, something like that. Anyways, you know what, just leave me a comment. Oh, we're just putting an annotation on top of it. And but besides that, you know, it feels, the first impression is, it feels quite heavy for an iPad. Well, the last iPad, I, I, I kind of skipped the iPad 3, so the last iPad I've had was the iPad 2, and that was definitely lighter than this one. Let's switch it on so we can also check out um, this new fantastic Retina display. And while it's booting up for the very first time, you know what, let's take a quick look at the iPad Mini. Here we go. And we got the black version. So, by the way, that was a 9.7 inch uh, display. And this one sports a 7.85 inch one. Well, look at this. Let's also switch this one on. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go for English. That helps. We're in Taiwan. Well, right now we're kind of in between in the South Chinese Sea. Okay, hello Taiwan. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Now we are not going to connect to anything right now. Because, uh, Let's go to Austria here. Um, but 
it seems that I just can't skip this. Okay, so it wants to set up the iPad for the very first time. Of course, you need to get your Apple ID and then you need to connect to iTunes. And I tell you what, I guess this uh, stewardess or the captain are gonna kill us if we would like to set up any kind of Wi-Fi connection or whatever. Ooh, there comes the Hello Kitty stewardesses and they're going to serve us some dinner. Where are we gonna take a look at this? You know what, let's quickly compare this to the iPad mini in terms of sizes. Again, 7.85 uh, inch display here on the iPad mini with a 1024 by 768 resolution. It's the same resolution as the iPad 1 and as the iPad 2 had. And there's a 9.7 inch on the iPad 4. That's definitely a huge difference compared to this. Well, you know what, what you immediately also notice is how thin the bezel on the sides of the iPad mini are compared to um, the iPad 4 and of course it's way lighter this is this is almost twice the weight of the iPad mini and compared to how thin it is now look at this that's a huge difference I mean seriously this feels like a completely different device well of course it is a different device but this is way more mobile even though I still find it a little bit awkward to hold because it's pretty wide right? and I already have pretty long fingers so anyways uh, this just gives you a little impression about the size differences of the new iPad 4 and the iPad mini. Of course we're going to run some extensive benchmarks and we're going to show you everything about the display and viewing angles and whatnot. But this is the very first unboxing of the new Apple iPad 4 in comparison with the new iPad mini. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks here on the Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty, not Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty, eBay Airline Fly from Hotline to Taipei. Thanks for watching. Bye.